Okay, we're gonna do some blue bonnets and blue bonnet buds and Indian paintbrush. Okay, so those are a couple that are very popular um, on the requests from me to me. <laughs> and so I wanted to share with you um, how easy those can be. So we have cobalt blue, yellow daffodil. This is daffodil yellow, sap green, engine red and floaty medium. And we could add just a little bit of white. So let's get some wicker white. And I, you can put this in your double loader. I'm putting this in a foam plate today, whatever makes it easier for you to work with. And you notice I pat it down so that I can get more space to go around the edges of as I'm loading, okay? So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I've dampened my brush, I've laid it on the paper towel to get the excess moisture out. And then what I want you to do is, let's load, double load. I'm going in between the two. Um, if you have a double loader, you're just gonna split the brush in between the sections. And so let me show you this. There's a the double loader. You would split in between those two to get your colors, okay? Now I need to pick up some white on the, the yellow edge and I'm going to work it in till I get a nice color. Now you have to work that brush till you've got the paint all the way up, okay? You can keep it from the ferrule, but I just wash my brush out well at the end. So don't worry about if it gets too high. All right, so I'm just blending to get a color that I like. All right. Now, what I noticed with the flowers is that we're going to be up on the chisel. This is the chisel. Now, I want you to see, I'm going to start here, lift the front, the brush that's going first, lift it slightly so you have a nice thin stem. But I can also come here with the dark stem because whatever follows is the predominant color. All right. So this, it led with the the sap green so the yellow is prominent and like if you were on a dark surface you wouldn't want dark to be prominent so i flip this brush lead with the light whatever follows is the predominant color just to let you know that all right so i'm going to start here and oops i got paint over me first thing okay i'm going to start here and i'm going to show you that at the beginning you shouldn't be up like this. I'm just making sure I show you close to the camera. Be sure to keep it down on the table when you're working. All right. So I want you to see that these little strokes like that are the tip. Okay. So the tip is fresh and it hasn't started coloring yet. All right. So if I'm over here, I'm also going to, on this dark one here, start another tip. All right, but usually they don't go out that way. Usually they're going this way, curving, just like the flowers would as they start. All right, can you see they curve inward? All right, so I can go over this again, put it out here, out here, just get some white, curve it, curve it. All right. So that's the tip of each one, all right? And um, we can go ahead, I can put a couple more in here because then we'll add some greenery also along here. So this is your homework to go practice some of these strokes. I am gonna come a little tighter there. Pull in, in, in. But if I have to go back and stroke like that, I just pick up fresh white on the tip. See that? So those tips you see on all these flowers, okay. All right, now I'm gonna go down. That was a 10. Now I'm gonna go down to let's do an eight because I don't want it too small so that you can't see it well. All right. 
Um, also, I am going to show you one more thing before we go further. Also, when it's just um, a bud, it gets a little bit fuller. All right. Oh, I got my finger in there. All right, so the bud, it's a little bit more like this. And then I went, this is with my eight. I went and I pulled down the stem. But what you will see is there's a little bit of greenery at the base. See that? It comes up. Just a little bit. All right. All right. Now, now lower the smaller than a size 12, you're going to load the predominant color on the aid. I wet it, I dried it, and I'm picking this up and I'm going to side stroke. All right. So, what's going to happen is that we're going to keep making these strokes that way and that way. So I'm going to keep coming in here, picking up blue. All right, so it's cobalt with some little bits of blue. And there's space, little bits of space on the stem, all right? So you can come in here. And just be on the chisel, kind of laying to the side. And you're going to get that illusion that it's blue veil, blue bonnet. And I was in Texas and I had lots of people on PBS ask me to do blue bonnet, but I haven't painted them in so long. I just had to work out details so that I could paint them with you guys again. All right. So I'm going to do a couple of other versions where you're up here. And, oops, that's too much paint. So you could get right up here. And it's only blooming this much. Okay. And then there's other sprouts coming underneath some of these. So this one's a little bit more grown. There's not much at the top. Hang on because we're going to do the Indian paintbrush. Now I can get bigger. Okay. Now what I want to show you with this is we're going to take the same eight and come back in here and get my greens. I should be showing all that. There we go. All right. So we're going to come right here. And now look what happens. I'm going to pick up some of that yellow and green again. And as I'm coming down here, I got paint all over me there. All right, we can come leading with the dark. We can bring right along on the stem. See the little leaves that come out there? Okay, so let's come here a little bit and show you I'm leading with the light because I'm thinking I lead it with a lead with the dark over here and I don't think that you could see it as well. All right, so here are some of those little leaves that come on there. All right, I keep coming along where there is um, some little bits of white. I also want you to see 
Let's get a little bit more white. I'm going to do little sprigs right here, here, push harder. And then I'm going to pull those stems. Okay, so here's the little sprigs that grow. Here's some that are right along the stem. Okay, and they come off from it. All right. Now let's look at our Indian paintbrush. Okay. They complement the blue of the bluebells and blue bonnets. And I saw the most beautiful ones um, in pictures that people have been sending me. And I don't know if I can do them justice, but oh my gosh, they were so pretty. And so sometimes when I see people paint them, they paint them right along with this look um, with the buds here, but they're not really like that. When, I, when I've seen them, they're just a little bit of uh, a blossom, blossom. Now, look, every time I'm coming over here, I'm picking up the red. I had put white first, okay? And then Okay. So what happens is there fire blossoms, or fire flowers or whatever in Alaska, they have a fun pretty look too like this. And they make jelly out of them. Okay, so now I don't know if blue bonnets have a pink, but in the illustrations I found, they show some like this too. So if you're an expert out there, because you live where they are, let me know. I'm just showing you that <clears throat> I'm getting these from pictures online. And so if this helps you see, I actually have a little stem now. That's kind of fun. So show me your success. I'm chisel edging this, but you could use a script liner if you want these really small. See how they come up. Now what, what it shows is as we're doing this, there's little teeny chiseled leaves like that. So let me show you those. You touch and you lift, okay, on both sides. And I'm still got the eight. You can even use it too. It depends on how small you're gonna get these. All right, so I push and I twist, push. And I like curve over like they're leaning. Okay. Well, I hope that I taught you something that you like it. This little leaf dill makes it kind of nice to see that they're push, push, and they're clusters of leaves. And they're usually four or five. And they also have a stem. So you just play around with them and see. You can see the shading in there. This is because of the way I load the brush. All right. So I hope that I inspired you. Let me know what flowers you really want to learn. And I will make sure that I do them for everybody who's asked me. <laughs> okay, I work on it. Thank you very much. Hope that inspired you and, and that you practice, practice, practice. Do some homework and share it with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.